put it right here. You guys, the square. That is tender. One. This one is the best. <laughs> and for the case of Spetzla here. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently call Germany our home. In our latest video, we pick up our American parents and take them on the German Autobahn for the first time. Things get crazy and both Tanner and my dad drive as fast as they ever have. I don't think you can catch <laughs> Oh my <laughs> gosh, he's, he's lying. Lying. That's almost as fast as I've ever gone. <laughs> Tanner, you're scaring us! <laughs> that was when my heart first sped up a little. In this video, we are in Austria exploring our first city ever in this beautiful country. We share with you our first impressions and introduce our parents to Tyrolean food. Today we're in Innsbruck, Austria. This is the first time for all of us. Tanner and I drove through here on our way to the Dolomites, which is actually... Will is excited to be out of the car, which is actually where we're headed in this trip, but rather than just driving through, we're stopping here to explore this city and see what it has to offer. So dang happy, huh? Well, we decided that we're gonna push it off for a couple hours because the clouds are pretty thick right now. Hopefully in a couple hours it'll lighten up. Right now we're gonna go catch some food. You guys, the square. So picturesque and it's really fun to see the difference of an old town here in Austria compared to Germany. There is a difference, we can see it, but man, all of them are so great and this one is no exception. We made a stop to grab some food because we're all pretty much starving, at least I am. And we are at the Stiftskelle restaurant. A lot of options on the menu. We're gonna get some Kaiserspätzle for sure, and then also get some beef goulash. And then, this is the first time Marissa's parents are gonna be trying some German food, German slash Austrian food, so we're pretty excited to see their reactions to it. Spicy-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Great oh, review. The <laughs> Peel that casing off. Those are fine, but I think this one you're, you're supposed to. I was going to taste it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Can I try that? Let's see what mom's got for her food review. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> there you have it, you guys. The best food critics there is. You have no, no idea what it tastes like, no idea what the texture is like. <laughs> but it's not bad. <laughs> Crunchy? <laughs> so this is the beef goulash. Really excited. Oh, here comes our special though, yeah? Yeah. Is he? Perfect. Actually, I'm excited for this. Mm. That is tender. The sauce is nice and salty. Kind of even a little bit of a bitter taste as well. But the meat is very well cooked, really soft. I want to say this is a, a canudo. Yep, very nice. For the Kaiser Spetzle here, Marissa already took a bite and told me not as good as the first one that we had, but I'm still excited. 
And I have to agree, this is definitely not as good as the first one that we had near Fusen when we went to Neuschwanstein. I'm so excited. So many of you guys said that this was your favorite dish out of all of the German dishes, and so we kind of have high expectations. <laughs> Wait. Mm. Oh, I can smell the onions and oh, it smells so good. I can see why this is so many of your guys' favorite dish, but I don't know if it will ever be beat. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is like so divine. Like the savory level is just out of this world. The flavors just aren't as rich and creamy and the cheese definitely tastes a little bit different. It's a little bit stronger of a cheese, which if you like that, definitely up your alley but this definitely has like just different flavors i still enjoy it but it's nothing like that first one it's still really good all right of these three <laughs> one. this one is the best <laughs> the dark one yeah so overall it mm, was okay honestly it wasn't the first experience we wanted our parents to have but it was still good it's kind of funny because now we're like being picky right. about bavarian right. style food and austrian food because we've just had great food yeah absolutely but still really fun we're gonna go leave now walk around some of the Altstadt area here before we make it back to the car because it's getting a little later in the day we want to make it to our Airbnb hopefully before sundown so Plus, it's raining so yeah adds to it <laughs> yes Well, that concludes our Innsbruck, Austria video for you guys. We didn't end up going on the cable car. Unfortunately, the rain never stopped and the clouds never parted, so it just wasn't worth the cost because it's about 50 euros per person. So if you come and it's good weather, based on the pictures we saw, it would definitely be worth it. And we're just gonna have to make our way down here to experience it sometime. But we still had a wonderful day. The city is very picturesque. It was really fun to walk around and being able to explore our first city in Austria. On the way out, we saw some strudels, which if you know me, I love a good apple strudel with some vanilla sauce. So we're taking it to go because we're not hungry yet. When we get to our Airbnb, we will definitely be settling down, eating our strudels with our vanilla sauce. It's gonna be a nice way to enjoy the evening. Thanks for being here. It's fun to have you guys come with us on our travels and for you guys to be able to experience with our parents their first time in Europe. Catch you on the next video.